द थियोरी ऑफ एवरीथिंग इज देयर अ थियोरी और अ फिलोसफी विच कैन एक्सप्लेन द एंटायरिटी ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स विच कैन एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम नोइंग आर सेल्फ टू नोइंग गॉड टू नोइंग द यूनिवर्स एंड द वर्ल्ड अराउंड अस इज देयर अ थियोरी और इज देयर अ फिलोसफी लाइक दैट इज देयर अ फ्रेमवर्क थ्रू विच वी कैन लुक एट दिस entire universe holistically and come to a deep understanding of what it actually is if such a theory or philosophy exists what is it and where is it we will look into this in today's episode scientists have been searching for the theory of everything for a very long time many people are seeking a holistic theory or philosophy that can explain the entirety of this universe and our place in it and i think the answer to this lies in the ancient teachings of hinduism which are the upanishads upanishads are one of the most sophisticated philosophical teachings that exist on this planet and they give us direct teachings on the nature of reality and they tell us our place in this universe and they also tell us who we truly are the most direct interpretation and the most clear interpretation of the upanishads is advaita vedanta so advaita literally translates to non dualism and this philosophy tells us that whatever we are looking at in this universe is just a projection in consciousness it does not truly exist and everything is connected and everything is one that one ultimate reality which is pure awareness or consciousness is experiencing itself through this projection of the universe all this might seem complicated so let me simplify this so that all of us can understand it now imagine nothing exists no thing exists there is absolute stillness there is absolute blankness without any activity but a fundamental force exists which is unquantifiable which is indescribable which has no qualities to it which is all pervading and which is formless let us call this pure awareness or let us call it god now god existed before the creation of this universe when there was absolutely no activity as such god existed and then the creative potential of god was expressed and projected as this universe and this universe was not a deliberate act of god but a natural expression of god's creative potential just like how when we go to sleep we dream different dreams without consciously creating them this universe is just an expression of god's creative potential and this universe as it is is just a dream of god that one god that exists beyond time space and causation is dreaming this universe as we see it today and that ultimate reality or god has put himself into the position of an individual like you and me and is experiencing this world or this universe as a person with the limitations of body and mind this is because an experience can happen only within time space and causation and an experience can happen in a limited finite way so that god or universal consciousness has identified itself with the body and mind to have an individual experience from an individual perspective in this universe and like this it has identified itself with 
different individuals different objects different animals of universe in order to have infinite variety of experiences and in order to project infinite variety of expressions i know this sounds really strange and it sounds like a plot of a science fiction movie but this is the theory of everything this universe and all the other universes any number of parallel realities that might exist and various different dimensions of existence from heavens and hells if such a thing exists all of it together is a dream of god that one ultimate god and that god is dreaming this entire existence as we see it and as we perceive it today and that god is experiencing this universe that he has created himself through us from an individual perspective since he has assumed the position of an individual within the universe and since that universal consciousness which is infinite which is all pervading which is abundant and powerful has identified itself with the limitations of the body and mind it is suffering the consequences of this and it is suffering the limitations of body and mind so to come out of our suffering we need to realize our true self as that pure awareness or consciousness as god we need to realize aham brahmasmi i am that ultimate reality or god this is us going back to the original position as god and this is us completing the cycle of evolution so this was what i could understand and perceive from the teachings of advaita vedanta of course this is sort of my own interpretation of it but this is the theory of everything so everything is connected all of us and all the objects of the universe although it looks like everything is different and it looks like everything is separate is actually not separate just like within our dreams different objects and different people with whom we are interacting will seem different to us but once we wake up we realize that it was that one mind it was our mind that was dreaming all of it this universe and this world as it is is being dreamt by that god or by that pure awareness and since all of it is just a projection or a dream in that awareness it is all connected and it is all one and this is advaita it is non dual there is just one reality in which everything exists i hope this was valuable to you and if you want to dive deep into these concepts in order to truly understand the nature of reality and in order to consciously create the life that you want to live in this material world you can join our community come learning platform that we call the advaita conscious society you can visit advaita.com for more information on this thank you make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and i'll see you on the next one